Hey, hey everybody, happy Friday. I'm back and we are gonna use today the Autumn Expressions Bundle, hopefully. You guys have checked it out, it's very unique. I've had some of you email me about this set, requesting it, and so that's what we're gonna do today. Let me make sure I'm in the right place. Find you guys, there you are. I published the blog post before I went live. I double checked it and it's up <laughs> and the links are working. Well, I, I think, I know one link is working, so hopefully the rest of it's working. So anyways, I'm gonna start doing that instead of just trying to time it, I'm just gonna publish it, right? Hope you guys have had a good week. Um, we had a great trip to Yellowstone and Great, T great Tetons. Uh, we did all three in about three and a half days. It was glorious, the weather was fabulous, and we saw lots of animals, which was what our hope was. So um, the fall leaves, I think, were probably at peak perfection when we were there. Um, and then we came home, it's still like 95 degrees every day, and our leaves have changed colors, but it's because they're all dead and fried. <laughs> it's not because they're beautiful and yellow like they are up in the north. Um, anyhow, I'm gonna turn you guys around because you guys, while I was gone, it was my birthday, and you guys sent me a ton of things. So I had just have to show you all the fun things that I got. So let me turn you guys around. Uh, let's see, is my camera, I think I did it sideways. Let's see if I can flip you guys around. Oh, there we go, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it is. Okay, so hold on, let's see if I turn you guys, rotate your phone, no, we can't rotate while recording. All right, well, that's fine. <laughs> every day is something new now let's see if I can do this hold on the buttons are on the side now where I can't see them so let's see if I hang up on you guys accidentally we'll just start again okay oh, I cannot see where the buttons are and I don't want to accidentally push the buttons okay I think we're okay oh we're not straight that I can't stand oh wait there we go okay can you guys hear me are we okay did we survive the turnaround on the back side? Like I had my phone flipped opposite and it was like, sorry, you cannot fix this while you are recording. Hello, hello, it's good to see you guys. Hello, Trisha. Are we good? Do I sound okay? It's not pushing any weird buttons. Let me see, let me look around. Okay, I think it's okay. Okay, hi Judy, thank you. Okay, so I got some things while I was gone, you guys. You guys spoil me, and I just, thank you. I mean, I just don't even know what to say. Y'all have, y'all are the most thankful people, I mean, um, just thoughtful people. That's the word I'm looking for, and I am the most thankful, so thank you. Um, this one is from, I think, Marsha, yeah, Marsha, and Marsha, I've never seen the, this is so cute. She Use my stamp set to make a couple of things. And then this is from Scentsy. Do you guys know Scentsy? I love Scentsy. Um, but it's a scented buddy clip look and it's a pinata. How cute. I've not seen those before. Very cute. Very cute. Um, ooh, and it smells good. And then she made this really fun card. I love this card. I've not made this before. I don't know who invented this. Um, but it is brilliant, really cute. And then you guys will notice a theme throughout all of this. You guys know I love pink. So lots of pink and some yummy Halloween candy. I love these. We need to make this. This is a really cool holder. I haven't made one of those in years. Thank you, Marsha. Very sweet. Um, okay, let's see. This one. Oh, this is from Kathy. I don't know if Kathy's on here yet. Kathy sends me something every year and is super thoughtful. Kathy, I have actually seen this online and I wanted it so bad and I can't believe you got it for me. Um, it's called the Wonder Club and you get these little charms. Can you see this one says Yellowstone? You get these little charms for each of the national parks that you go to. Um, so I love it. I cannot tell you how special this is. So thank you and it's pink and a beautiful card to boot. So Kathy, thank you very much. Um, I already know exactly what I'm gonna do with this. Out here I have a key for my studio that also opens a house and I'm gonna use that for this so I can look at it every day. Very sweet. Um, you know, let me get a basket so I can put this stuff in here. All right, now Patty, I don't know if Patty's on here. Patty is like gift giver extraordinaire. She's amazing with gifts. 
And she actually posted her, this card today over on her Facebook page. Look how adorable this is. This is that pumpkin online exclusive set that I can never remember the name of. And it's so stinking cute. She used pink and blues with the orange. So, oh my God, so cute. And then it said, enjoy lunch. It said, enjoy lunch on me or something. And look, it's cute little like beautiful pumpkin plates with pumpkin napkins. A Chick-fil-A gift card, hello, my favorite, and the little cookie, and there's even a little candle in there. I keep saying, Patty, you need to go into business, like gift baskets, gift something. I don't know, you're just very clever. Thank you, Patty, very much. Okay, let's look at some of the cards that I got. Um, this one is from Gloria. Oh, I love that set. Remember, it wasn't around for very long. It was like in a spring catalog, and I can't remember the name of it, but I love it. It was succulents, something succulents. This one is from Gina. Gina, thanks for the gift card too. Gina is so thoughtful. She always sends me gift cards. I love gift cards. Who doesn't, right? <laughs> this is a fun fold card. I'm gonna put this in my fun fold basket. I'm trying to keep all the fun folds that I get in a special place so that when I wanna do a fun fold, I can think of something or have ideas for other fun folds. This one, I love these ducks, is from Barb. Look how cute these ducks are. How cute, I love them so much. That set, that's one of my favorite sets. All right, now you're gonna see a lot of pink here. Nicole, look at that basket, so cute. Um, what was that bundle from? We did a Club Create kit with it. Um, I can't remember, but we're actually gonna use the dies that go with this today, the daisies dies. We're gonna use one of those dies. Um, all right, that was, did I say that was from Nicole? Thank you. Um, this is from Mary Alice, and this is a fun fold too, look. See how it opens like that? Boop, it's like a little puzzle. That one's really fun. I love it. That's going in the fun fold basket too. Let me make sure I keep those separate. Now this was a really sweet one from Carla. Um, sorry for your loss, it's not a birthday card, but she sent me a sweet message about losing our pups this summer. So. Thank you. And look, I love how she took the um, paper pumpkin card and turned it into something totally different. Uh, and that looks just like where I was last week. Beautiful. Thanks, Carla. I really appreciate it. Sweet. Um, this one is from, I think, is it Kathy? Is this one from Kathy? Let me, let me take a peek. Oh, why can't I open it? Yes, Kathy, look. Books. Isn't that cute? That's a fabulous color combination, too. Um, okay, here's some more pink from Lisa, my downline, who used to live here and now she moved, moved to New Mexico. She knows I like pink. Thanks, Lisa. This one I love because it was super simple from Sandy. Look at that. Just that embossing with the sentiment across and the two little embellishments. I'm working on next week's projects, you guys, with the Changing Leaves bundle. It's finally back in stock with that embossing folder. And uh, I'm kind of doing something like this. It was just working on it a little while ago. Sometimes I think that things have to be super complicated to be, you know, pretty. And they do not. This is gorgeous. And it's very simple. And I was just looking at that embossing folder too. I love it. Here's that pumpkin set again um, from Terry. Look at that. Cute. She did fancy on the inside too. Um, I have a card to share with you guys using this pumpkin set. I made it weeks ago and I just... I don't know, I just haven't posted it yet. I need to share it with you. Uh, this one is from Nina. Pink again, very, very pretty. Very pretty, she stamped the inside too. I love it, love it. Pink gingham. This one is from Linda. Very, very pretty. You guys, pink makes my heart happy. This I love with a blue gingham too. This is from Donna. Donna. Donna, you have great handwriting too. I was gonna tell you. I noticed that. It looks like a font on a computer. Um, this is also from another Linda. Look how cute the little bird houses with the pink. Very cute, very cute. Thank you very much, Miss Linda. Oh, here's this beautiful um, Mediterranean blooms. This is from Anita. Um, thank you, Anita. I like that bow too. This, you know, when we can die cut from the pattern paper, it just makes card making so easy, doesn't it? Um, I actually need to make some birthday cards. Um, is this from Kelly? 
Yes, Kelly. Butterflies, that was uh, from a couple of years ago. Really fun butterfly, sweet. Not, was it sweet, it was a paper, had something to do with celebration, I can't remember. But really pretty, really, really pretty. Um, this is from, okay, wait, let me see who this is from. No, Christy, oh, Christy. Christy is also my downline. Now, look what she did with that paper. There's that paper. We're gonna use a little bit of that paper today. And she put the daisy and the sentiment. It's so beautiful, you don't have to do a whole lot. You just use it, and she carried that over there. Um, you just use it kind of as a focal point on your card. Now, I had these already open, and I can't remember if I showed you guys last week, so I just wanna show you again if I did. This is a um, paper pumpkin, Deborah, and she did something different with it. Did we see this last week, I, or the last time I was here? I think maybe I did, look at that. She took the paper pumpkin and did her own thing. Very cute, fun fold, very cute. All right, two more, two more. Uh, Vicki, and I don't know if I shared this one as well. I might have. Oh yeah, I think we did. I talked, to, did I talk about that? How easily it was flipping? Anyway, I don't know. I love it, another fun fold. And then this one is from Carla. Oh yes, that typewriter, so cute, so cute. Lots of fun going on with those sunflowers. I remember those sunflowers. All right, and then one more thing I gotta show you from my downline, Laura. She's actually not my direct downline. She's under my friend, Deborah, but she's here locally and I get to see her every month at our meetings. And she played with the more than autumn. But look, she sent me these and I think she probably made these. Look how cute these are. Let me, let me get it open. It's a little like a decoration, but it looks just, doesn't it look real? There's two of them. So cute. Laura is super clever. I love that. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then of course, it's pumpkin spice season. Cute. You guys, thank you. You're always very generous with me, very kind and very thoughtful. I strive to be as thoughtful as you all. And I am not, and I wish I was. It is, it is much appreciated. So thank you guys. All right, so let me see. Everybody is here. How are you guys doing? Thanks, Jessica. Um, yes, Nancy, believe me, I do use the gift cards. <laughs> I don't let a gift card go to waste. I love gift cards, but you're right. Sometimes they don't get used. My husband won a gift card to a restaurant that's really far from us, and we, we haven't ever used it. It's probably been three years now. Maybe it's expired, but sometimes I know. That's how, that's how they make the money, right? People don't use their um, gift cards. Okay, so today for, for uh, what are we doing? Facebook Friday. Autumn Expressions is what we're using. The paper that goes with this is called Splendid Autumn, so it's the whole suite, you know, in the catalog. Well, it just so happens that this month's All-Star Tutorial Bundle features this same suite. Um, so if you spend $50 with me this month, you're going to get this PDF for free. I send them out about every two weeks to everybody who's purchased. I try to do it once a week, but I've gotten bad about it. Um, if you don't get it, email me and be like, hello, you forgot to send me the PDF and I will totally do it. Sometimes I forget and sometimes they do bounce and they go to spam. So they're all video tutorials designed by 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Mine is a pumpkin, um, well, it's a tea box, but of course I am using the pumpkin spice chai in there. All right, and then there's 11 other ones. If you are not gonna shop with me um, and earn it for free, it's available in my PDF store as well for $15. Um, the PDF has the measurements and supply list, and then there's a link on each one to the video so that you can see the video. And on Wednesday, we did a blog hop where we all posted a second project, which I have right here. All right, oh, my bow fell off. I don't know where the bow went. This ribbon doesn't stick with a glue dot very well. So if you wanna get that, if you wanna check that out, make sure you go check that out. Okay, so that's that. Let me put this down here. Um, Club Create deadline for October is Monday, right? Monday the 7th. So if you wanna get this month's Snowy Wonder um, Club Create kit, make sure you subscribe by 
Monday. Monday is the last day. If you're already a subscriber, you don't have to do anything. You already are subscribed. Um, you can subscribe and then cancel if you just want to get this month. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Don't worry. Um, or you can stick around. And if you stay for six months, I'm going to reward you with a $25 product credit where you get to just buy whatever or order something, whatever you want for $25 to be sent in your sixth month kit. Um, you get about $20, $25 in product plus five projects, full video, full PDF, and shipping. And there's $45. Um, you can add on the bundle, adhesive and ink, and I pay the tax and shipping on that if you add on to your monthly kits. Okay, so that deadline is Monday. Now, November's kit features the winterly tree tops. And November is a weird time because I don't ship the kits until the third week of November, which means it's not going to get there till after Thanksgiving. And so I'm always like, do I send Christmas? Is it too late for Christmas? So this month we're using, or for November, we're using the winterly tree tops. It's not really a Christmas set but it could definitely be used for Christmas. And we're gonna make four cards and a card holder because I thought maybe what you might wanna do instead of making Christmas cards is to make a set of cards and give them as a gift for Christmas because you would probably have plenty of time to do that. So if you are interested in Club Create for November, that subscription period starts on Tuesday the 8th, okay? So Tuesday, October 8th, yes, right? I don't have my new calendar up, so I don't, I'm like blind. I don't know what the dates are. Um, but it's October the 8th for November's kit. <laughs> it goes from October the 8th to November the 7th, and then the kit will ship around November 21st. Those are the dates. Okay, so that is that. Um, one more thing I want to show you. I have a class to go that I just finished up today, and it's a Stamp-A-Stack Christmas card class. So if you are needing Christmas cards... This is the class I'm gonna announce next week. It's 10 cards. It fe features the super cute Christmas Friends bundle. Um, you're gonna get supplies to make 10 cards, two of five designs. Um, you're gonna get half a pack of paper, a full pack of gems, and a bolt of ribbon. Um, and the, the PDF, and then I filmed a coloring instruction video to go with this one, um, since you're gonna be using um, Stampin' Blends or whatever, colored pencils, whatever you want. But there is a video showing you how to color the images. So um, Tuesday is my uh, goal to have this listed and open for registration on Tuesday. It'll ship at the end of the month. Okay. 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 I think that's it. I think that's it. Let me look. Yeah, I think we're, we are ready to go. Um, so this week, Facebook Friday, like I mentioned, is featuring Autumn Expressions over at my on my blog, Pink Buckaroo. Hey, Emery. Um on my blog, Pink Buckaroo Designs is a free PDF for you today. It has the supply list and the measurements that you'll need, as well as details on those things that I just talked about. There's a host code if you want to order. I'm off center because my camera, my lens is usually on this side of my desk, and today it's on this side, so now everything, I'm going to have to shift everything over and stand in a weird place. It probably doesn't make sense to you guys, but it's like throwing me off. Um, if you want to order and get this, these projects as a, a kit, the kits look like this. Um, I ship them for free on Wednesday. Uh, the way to earn them is to place an online order between now and Monday at midnight. As long as your order is over $35 and use this host code, I'll send you a free kit. Um, you can order anything you want. You will need the Autumn Expressions bundle and I'm using the daisy die and it's very tedious, so I'm not gonna cut those. So you'll need some kind of flower die um, to use in that in its place. Doesn't have to be the days, daisy die, but it could be any kind of flower die or flower punch. Um, what else was I gonna tell you? Um, I don't know, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, they come like this. Has everything that you need except for this, the bundle, that one die and the embossing folder. Everything else embellishment wise, paper wise, die cut wise will be in there for you okay all right well let's get started this bundle has been really popular i will oh i forgot to tell you about um prizes nydia is our winner for this week she's getting both of these new stamp sets um nydia thanks for sharing my um 
video on Facebook last week. I really appreciate it and I have your mailing address, so no need to email me unless like you've moved in the last month or so. Um, next week I'm gonna give away more than autumn. This is my favorite bundle in the whole uh, holiday catalog. So if you would like to win this, all you have to do is share the video either on Facebook or YouTube. Let me know in the comments that you shared and I'll pick somebody at random next week and I'll ship it to you for free as a thank you. Okie dokie, let me pull everything over. I hope that I have all of my ink pads. I was just, you know, I'm all super prepared and then I start doing other things and pulling things off my tray as I, I was trying to prepare for next week's Facebook Friday designing. And so I started pulling things off the tray. So now I'm probably missing things that I need, but we'll see. We shall see. Okay, this die set. Who have you got? Do you guys have this? It's an interesting set. We've never had anything like this. It's a frame and it folds in half. And then you have these little like pieces that like fold over, like to hold it in place. So you can open the frame up. It could be like an interactive card. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna glue it together. Um, but you can totally do that. That way, you know, they can open it and there's something inside. I've seen lots of different things. I saw today a card where they cut it out of pink and black and made a little purse, which I was like, that's really cute. Um, this was what they used for the handle, but we're gonna use it like you've hung it on a wall, right? I, it's really a clever uh, die. I just, I've never seen anything like it before and uh, I've had fun kind of playing around with it. The, when the frame, when you cut the frame out, you're gonna get these negative pieces also that are really good for just labels on your cards and your projects. And we're actually gonna use them without the frame on the second and the third project. Um, the other part of this suite is the gorgeous designer series paper. And so any of these pieces in here can be used um, with what we're doing today. Um, that card I showed you from Christy, she used this paper. I think it was, it was this one or one of the previous ones we've had that is similar with the hand-painted scenery in the background. Um, and there it is, I think that's the one she used. And then you just really, all you really need to do is put a sentiment. I'm going a little further than that today. I love this one. Look at those colors. That looks like where I was in Yellowstone. That's beautiful. Um, anyway, you can use any of these pieces. Really pretty. The back sides are kind of like maybe like a painted canvas texture, which is, um, you know, kind of a nice complement to the busy patterns on the front. Apple and peanut butter is a delicious snack. Oh yes, Anne-Marie, I always have a jar of peanut butter in my office. Peanut butter is my go-to snack. It's full of protein, right? And it's delicious. <laughs> peanut butter, if I could only have one food for the rest of my life, it would most definitely be peanut butter. I know, do you guys like peanut butter? And I, I will eat the crunchy peanut butter, but I prefer the smooth peanut butter for sure. Um, on the inside, I forgot to show you that I just carried over that paper on the inside because you're going to cut your piece and you're going to have some pieces left over. Okay, let me get let me get situated. You're going to need um, a piece of early espresso and a piece of a crumb cake. And we're going to stab the sentiment on the crumb cake piece. Apple and peanut butter is so good. Lois, I make peanut butter and honey sandwiches too. My kids prefer jelly, but I like honey. I do. Mmm, so delicious. So delicious. Change can be beautiful. So stamp that in early espresso. Oh, I do need my pecan pie ink pad. Did I put it away? I did. Peanut butter. On my birthday, we were in Jackson, Wyoming, and my husband took me to lunch. And for dessert, we had a peanut butter pie that had chocolate ganache on the top. Yeah. It was outstanding, outstanding. Um, this, so do you guys call this grass, wheat? <laughs> I think it's just grass, but I wanna call it wheat. I stamped it in pecan pie ink on crumb cake cardstock. 
Um, and that's all we're gonna stamp. So let me get my cut and emboss machine, which is, oh, it's right here, hello. I put it right here so that I wouldn't have to walk away and get it, and of course I walked away looking for it. Peanut butter and honey sandwiches for, oh yes, Mary, mm-hmm, I know. That's mm, so good. I have been making homemade bread, and we have started having sandwiches on homemade bread, and let me tell you, Homemade bread is different than store-bought bread. And you just, I mean, like, you know that, but then when you make, like, a ham sandwich on homemade bread or a peanut butter and jelly on homemade bread, holy cow, you forget how good homemade bread is. So good. Um, okay, back to what we're doing. <laughs> we're all going to need a snack after this. Thanks, Anne-Marie. Um, this, this dye is a little bit weird. Okay. I'm just going to call it weird. It's not weird, but it's just, you got to like, think about it. One side, the frame is skinny. So that means your cutout is going to be a little bit bigger. The other side, the frame is fatter. And that means your cutout is going to be a little bit smaller. Um, so you have to decide if you're just using the cutouts, you know, do you want the bigger one or do you want the smaller one here? I want the bigger one because it's going to be easier to set down in my frame. All right, so I'm gonna set that down like that carefully and run it through. Yes, Rita, I will share my bread recipe. It is perfect every single time. I found it on Instagram. You know how you're scrolling around and it popped up and this girl was like, this is fail proof. And it is, it is fail proof. I'm telling you, it's fail proof. She has some other recipes that I've tried that are good too, but this one is perfect every single time. Okay, so we've got that. I will share that later today. Um, it does involve yeast. You know, you have to like let the yeast rise and all that. But it, the, the thing she says in the recipe is to make sure your water is 110 degrees. And if you make sure your water is 110 degrees, it's perfect every single time. So I always, instead of just feeling the water, is it too warm, is it too hot, too cold? I actually put my thermometer in it and get it to 110 and then it's perfect every time. All right, so now we're gonna use the frame and with early espresso cardstock. And we're gonna save these, we're gonna use one of these in a little while. So we're gonna save this for the second project. And then this thing always just wants to stick. So if that's happening to you, get your, take your pick tool and tell it to get out. It doesn't have the pokey holes like normal. So you have to kind of have to manipulate it. All right, you're also gonna wanna cut a Cajun craze leaf, an old olive branch and silver foil chain. And those are all from this set. Now, this guy, we're gonna glue right here. Okay, like that. And so we have to be kind of, you just have to be careful with your liquid glue. You guys know I'm a mess with liquid glue. Um, you know, Lois, I haven't gotten on the sourdough train yet. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to do sourdough starter in the fridge. And I, I mean, it's so popular right now. I know everybody's doing it. I don't, I, I don't know how to start a sourdough starter. That's if maybe if some, if one of you guys would send me something on that then maybe I'll try that. This is just good old white bread. Just good old white bread. It makes two loaves. I put one in the freezer. I just pulled one out. My husband was making a sandwich. Okay, I've made a mess already with my liquid glue. Okay, hold on. My husband was making a sandwich when I went inside and he said, do you want a sandwich? And I said, no, that's okay. And then I looked over and there was like nothing but like the end of the bread left. I'm like, what kind of sandwich is that gonna be? And he was like, that's plenty for a sandwich. I'm like, no, it's not. So I just pulled the other one out of the freezer. Okay, you guys, I have made a mess of this today, thinking about bread. Okay, hold please. I gotta do this off camera so you guys don't see me get messy. Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> what a mess. Let's try it like this. This is what I meant to do. There we go. <sighs> now my hands are sticky. Okay, there we go. Lay it down, fold over 
your little ends. And I did this backwards, but it doesn't matter. The ends can be on the back, they can be on the front, but we've glued it down flat, okay? Glued it down because I don't, I didn't want it to be interactive. You can, and you can just not glue it and have it lift up and down. You decide. All right, um, your card base is Crumb Cake. And I'm using a different paper. All three cards use a different pattern of paper from that beautiful set. And then I have a piece for the end side, just basic white, like that. And then we'll put this one on the left side like that. All right? Okay, now dimensionals. Dimensionals. Oh, thanks, Rosa. You like my nails? I went fall color this time. You know, usually I'm hot pink. Hot pink every time. This time I was like, okay, we're going to do fall colors. Fall colors. Lydia, who said that? Oh, Ginger. Ginger, yes, I'm very messy. Super messy. I'm a very messy crafter. All right, so put that on with dimensionals. Now I got to poke all these things out. I cannot do liquid glue without making a mess. I don't know if that's everybody or if that's just me or just some of us, but I make a mess every single time. And I am even worse with that fine tip glue. It, it, I think I'm worse with it than I am with the liquid glue. All right, couple of glue dots right there and right there. All right, now the little hang, the little doodads are all over the place, so let's get those out of here. And then we're gonna layer up. Did I not cut out my wheat? Oh gosh. See what happens when I start thinking about carbs? I get very distracted. I do love carbs. I do love them. All right. There we go. There we go. All right, our wheat, AKA grass. We're gonna start with that in the back. Okay. And you kind of have to push it off the edge, depending on if your sentiment is over a little bit that way, you can put it on that side. If your sentiment is over a little bit that way, then you could put the cluster on the left side. Just depends on how you stamped it and how you cut it out. All right, I'm gonna stick the old olive one down and I'm gonna put the dimensional oh my gosh, on top. And the, is that Cajun craze or is that, that is a copper clay, not Cajun craze, copper clay. Okay, now here's the fun part. This paper right here is the Winterly Treetops paper. And there are these cute little birds in here. And there's another sheet that has little birds too. And I'm just gonna cut out a couple of little birds to be sitting on our sign. Okay. You guys in Yellowstone, we saw, the only animal we did not see that we wanted to see was a grizzly bear, but I guess that's probably good that we didn't see a grizzly bear. We saw lots of wolves, which I didn't think we would see, but we saw lots of them. Um, we saw a moose on the very last night, and that was the thing I really wanted to see. Tons of elk. My husband, you guys know, is obsessed with elk. So we spent a lot of time sitting in the car watching the elk. And uh, we saw, um, I mean, the bison are, in, are just crazy. There's tons of them, tons of them. It was a really fun place. If you've never been, you gotta go. Lots of interesting things there that I was not, you know, I was thinking just beautiful views, but it's also all the, you know, Yellowstone's a volcano underneath it. So all the volcanic, features are really what you're seeing when you go there all the things that that you go to see just water bubbling out of the ground 
mud bubbling, steam shooting out of the ground. It's, it's really just, I mean, wow. And I kept thinking, you know, like the first people to come through there, first explorers, like what did they think when they saw that? I mean, because it's really nowhere else. I mean, it's different than a hot spring because it's kind of, they're kind of violent. The um, geysers and stuff are pretty violent. So I don't know. Really, just really interesting. Very different from any of the other parks that we've been to. And, and even though it wasn't the busy season, it was still very busy. Lots of people. All right, I'm going to put my... Um, linen thread bow there and then we'll get this little bird here and we're going to put that right there we're going to sandwich that in that cute just use your your paper snips to cut them out any of the birds will work and then we'll put one right there and then last but not least let's put a little glittery nail to hold it to the um to the card and actually it's a druzy is that what they're called druzy Adhesive back gem. Druzy. It's a weird word. And there you go. Pretty, pretty. Right? Very pretty. And you could change the colors. I know copper clay may not be some of your favorites. Those of you that don't like Cajun craze, I hear you. I know. I like it. All right. There we go. I keep, the camera keeps like blurring. Why is it doing that? <sighs> I'm having camera issues again and again and again very annoying okay there's our first card i hope you guys liked it you can use any of those pieces in your um pack of paper any of them will work for that card all right so now my favorite print in the whole pack is this print that has the daisies on it um, I think I've used it all up, so I don't think I have a full sheet to show you. Let me see. I don't think, I think we've used all of it. Mm, yes, but you can see it here. This slides off like this, right? And then it opens up and then there you can write your message. So it's a gatefold, sideways gatefold. Is that what you would call that? sideways gatefold and the die like i mentioned is from the daisies let me give you the exact name it's cheerful daisies all right here's our cheerful daisy die you're gonna cut out these two pieces from daffodil delight and just glue those like that and then the middle piece is, now I believe this one is Cajun Craze. Right there in the middle. Okay, so glue those together, set them aside to dry. And then remember we saved our two um, little labels from the last project, so we're gonna put one on here. So, so use that one, I think I used the big one. We're gonna stamp our little grass again with pecan pie. We have grass like this here in South Texas that turns pink in the fall. And we planted it in the backyard and right now all the tops are pink. I don't know what the name of that grass is. I have looked it up a thousand times. I can never remember. Somebody probably knows. And you probably have it where you live. It's not just a Texas thing, but it's very pretty. It's my favorite. Okay, pecan pie cardstock, pecan pie ink, and we're gonna stamp the wood slice on a scrap. All right, and then this is a, oh, there's my mom, golf muley grass. Thanks, mom, that's what it's called, golf muley grass? It's beautiful. Oh, see, Ginger's saying it's purple fountain grass. Which one is it? Maybe it's the same. Um. It's very pretty. All right, stamp your wood slice all over your pecan pie um, 
No, yes, pecan pie, greetings of the seasons tag. That's what that is. Already has the hole in it. This is, this is a great set of dies that I have been using a ton. Online exclusive. Available to everybody, just only online. It's not in the catalog. Purple grass in West Virginia. That's what you call it. So maybe it just has lots of names. All right, this crumb cake banner is from, and I stamped it in pecan pie, but I was supposed to do it in early espresso. That's okay, it works. This is from the Hearts and Hugs die collection. If you're wondering, it's a really good long and skinny banner that I seem to be using a ton lately. All right, we've got dies to cut these out, so let's run these through. And this one, you kind of have to like turn it until you find it where it locks in because it's not symmetrical. So fine, there's like one little side that has like a little point on it. That helps line it up. Um, you guys, I forgot to mention two things, two very important things. <clears throat> I was just distracted by all the birthday things I had to, I had to show you. Um, first of all, tomorrow is World Card Making Day. Did you guys register for the free online event? Afterwards, they're going to send out a free gift. Afterwards. So make sure you check your email. I think it's probably a coupon or something. I'm not totally sure, but you need to be looking for that. And then the other thing that I didn't tell you was that we have an amazing starter kit deal this month. Um, $155 product. Anything that you want for $99. Free shipping. You know what, this is the wrong size. We need the smaller one, not the bigger one. All right, I stand corrected. Um, the starter kit, after you buy the starter kit, you get a 20% discount or instant income if people buy from you. Um, you also get to be a part of my team and my team gets all my PDFs for free. My class kits at a discount. They get to be a part of our team, which means you can participate in contests that we have, swaps. Anne-Marie is our swap coordinator. She's very good at it. Um, it's a really good deal. $155 of product, any product you want that is current, obviously, even Clarence Rock product. Um, and we have um, a pre-order also. We're gonna have a new online exclusives in November. So you can even add that to your starter kit if you're interested, okay? So there is a link um, at the bottom of today's blog. I don't think I put it, I didn't put it on the PDF, but on the bottom of today's blog post, there's a link if you wanna go read about it. You can also message me, email me, and I'll be happy to answer questions for you. It's a good deal, always a good deal. All right, you guys did register, excellent, I'm glad. Um, I keep forgetting about it. And when I saw my mom, it reminded me, my mom is doing a painting class for card making. She's a painter. And so she's teaching um, a class for World Card Making Day tomorrow. Okay. Your pecan pie card base is four and a fourth by 11. You're gonna score it at two and three fourths from each side. So two and three fourths and eight and a fourth. And then you fold it like that. Right, and then you're gonna cut your sunflower paper. Let's see, which one goes on the bottom? Okay, this one goes on the bottom, right here. This one goes on the top, right there. Basic white, four by five and a fourth goes on the inside. And then when you've cut, you've cut those other pieces, you've got a strip left cut it down to one by five and a fourth and just put that on the inside like that i'm going to use this pecan pie middle stripe ribbon i have this random piece that was in my drawer so i'm going to see if it's long enough i don't know i think it's going to be long enough my bow might be a little bit smaller but that's okay i don't want it to go to waste all right there we go like that, straighten that out. Yeah, it's a little bit small for my liking, but that's okay. All right, and then kind of slide it up, and then you're gonna take your 
little tag you made. Did you guys see I used all dimensionals to put all of that on there? You start from the back, the bottom up, just keep adding dimensionals. Uh, your linen thread, if it's curly, lately mine's been super curly, just take it off the bolt and just kind of do that to it and it'll straighten out. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need a bow. I'm gonna tie this on. I'm so used to tying bows. Slide that through the hole, slide that onto your bow, your other bow, and tie a bow, <laughs> two bows. And there you go. That's my favorite project today. I love sunflowers. Anything with a sunflower on it. Isn't that cute? That paper is just beautiful. And then when you slide that tag off, you get to see the whole piece. So it's not totally covered up. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. Thank you. Ah, thirsty. Okay. One more project. And you guys know I'm going to bring a 3D project for you. It's not Facebook Friday if I don't do one 3D project. Well, I guess sometimes we don't do a 3D project. But I always like to do one, especially this time of year when there's all these pumpkin spice things. I have a, a box in here of things that I have bought over the last month to make treats of. And I don't think we're going to get to all of them. So that just means that we'll have to, my kids and I will have to eat all the treats. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Okay. This little box. And um, we're using different paper this time. We're going to use that Autumn to Remember scrapbook paper. And we're using the tag. Inside the box are these things. They're called wafers. Rip Van, we Rip Van wafers. They're pumpkin spice. And they're advertised as low carb. Right? So they're guilt free. Um, let's see. Net carbs. Four. All right. So this is for those of you who don't eat the homemade bread. And who are probably fit. <laughs> They're good for the rest of us too. They're delicious. I've eaten one. Don't worry. Just because they say low carb doesn't mean they don't taste good. All right. Let me get my simply poured and we will make the box first. I, I wish the comments would stay up. They just keep um, disappearing. Rhonda, you like the smaller bow? Yeah, it's good. I know, Mary, I love, love sunflowers. All right, you're going to need a piece of pecan pie. The measurements for this are on the second page right here. Six and a half by nine and a half. The long side, we're going to score at one and a half, two and three fourths, five and a half, and six and three fourths. And then the short side is one and a fourth and five and a fourth. All right, so the first thing you want to do is grab that bone folder, finish those lines. Yes, I did have sunflowers in my wedding with red roses. That's right. I have loved sunflowers forever. And my guest bedroom right now has a sunflower painting that my mom did for me a long time ago. We like sunflowers around here. All right, when you first scored this, the very first score line was at one and a half. That's gonna be the little lip that folds over, okay? So we're gonna start there and we're gonna cut off these corners. And when you do, go ahead and cut all the way in to that second score line. But just cut off that first, that first square, okay? And then cut the corners off of that. Turn and repeat. Snip and snip. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to my smaller scissors because they do better with these smaller sides. On the long side, you wanna snip in these score lines, cut off the corners like that. And then we'll be done. All right. And that's what your piece looks like, just like that. I'm gonna use liquid glue and a couple of clothes pins to hold this together while it dries. First thing you wanna do is pull those middle tabs in 
and put glue on the outside. Fold up this part and push them into the sides like that. And then glue on the inside of the remaining sides, fold them over and they're like hugging the back side. Okay. And then you can stand here and hold it until it's dry or you can just take some clothespins and hold it down like that and set it aside while you're doing the rest. Now, what did I do with the rest of the pieces? Here they are. Um, I'm using this paper. This is that um, Autumn to Remember designer series paper in our online scrapbooking section. So you can use the cute little animals or the trees. I did both. I don't know. I like them both. You decide. All right, so we've got that. I've cut a wild wheat heart. This is from the Wonderful Thoughts dies, but if you have the Give It a World dies that retired, those would be good too. You need a little piece of pump, uh, pecan pie, not pumpkin pie, a little piece of pecan pie, one and three eighths by three and seven eighths. And we're gonna emboss it with this humongo uh, birchwood embossing folder. Okay. So we'll set that aside and do that in a second. But first, let's do our stamping. We're going to stamp a sentiment in Cajun Craze. Like that. And the leaf on Crumb Cake in Memento Black. And then I'm going to color that leaf with Cajun Craze Dark. When you color on crumb cake cardstock, the blends, they, they act differently than they do on white. Um, they will bleed out a little bit easier, so you don't wanna oversaturate your paper. Um, and I'm not gonna do any kind of shading on here. I really like the way it looks when we color crumb cake cardstock. It's, it's just different from coloring on white. All right, so go through here, color that in. If you don't wanna use Cajun Craze, look at your paper. See what colors are in your paper and just use something that's already in the paper. Okay, I'm gonna use some post-it tape so I make sure that this is the way I want it. It's not gonna slip around. I'm gonna kind of put it over to the left side. I should have done that before um, so that you have room for your little cluster on the right side. Yes, we don't have fall either. What's going on, you guys? I heard on the news that it's not just us down here in South Texas. Like, everybody's got hot temperatures. What's the deal? I don't like it. Don't like it. Although, you know, it's still in the upper 90s here, and it hasn't cooled off too much at night, just a little bit. But our pool is, has gotten very cold. It's weird. I don't think the... I mean, maybe it's cooled off five degrees at night, but the pool is cooled off a lot. So it's almost too cold to swim. I'm like, if it's gonna be hot, the pool better be swimmable. Hundreds in California too. Raining and cool here in Oregon. But Teresa, that's pretty typical, isn't it, in Oregon? I mean, you, when you guys get hot weather, it doesn't stay around for very long. If I, if I remember correctly, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, let's put this together. Have you guys seen these mesh gold leaves, woven golden leaves? They're very light and beautiful. So we're gonna put that there and that there and that on there, but I'm not gonna do that quite yet. Let's bring back our box. Oh, I forgot to do the embossing. Hold on, I knew I was gonna do that. Bring this back, take all the plates off except for one, and then you need that gray plate, which I had sitting here Am I just looking at it? Can I cover it up? Let's see, yeah, here it is. You wanna take plate four and put on top and run it through. The light looks weird in here. Maybe it's because I turned that. And there's your birch wood embossed piece for the front lip of your box. Okay, should be dry. Let's put in two wafers like that. Close that and close that and close that. 
Um, I think we'll use the trees this time. Put that right there. The birchwood piece can go right here like that. Then this ribbon, I am loving this wild wheat ribbon. It looks gold and it's pretty and it's light and I have been using it a lot. Okay, so we'll tie that around, put that bow kind of towards the top. Like this. And then you want to cut these off at an angle like that. And now let's get dimensionals and put the rest of this together. I'm gonna sandwich that ribbon between the two dimensionals and we'll put grateful for you right there. Now this, this woven um, leaf, you're gonna need to use liquid glue. I tried to put a dimensional on top of it to hold it down and it did not work. So give it some time to dry. I'm gonna just stick that kind of over to the side. Take your leaf, put that right there. Then we need a mini dimensional, which I think I have right here. And we'll put that on the back like that. Peel that off, put that right there. And grateful for you. Who's gonna get a low carb sm <laughs> smack? A low carb snack from me. You won't know it's low carb, you won't. If I give it to you, you won't. You will be like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I linked those from Amazon, um, those wafer, pumpkin spice wafers. Thanks, Stacy. You are welcome. Okay, let's look at what we did. I have a bonus card for you to show you. We did the box. We did the sunflower card. Nope, I'm off center again. Sunflower card. And then we did just this card with the autumn, splendid autumn paper. Yesterday, I showed you this card. Blackberry Bliss is so gorgeous. Um, and then to this month's all-star project features this as well. Look how I use the label there. And then on Monday, I'll have this card right here. Look how that looks embossed in copper on early espresso. Isn't that gorgeous? Really simple card. Stamped the leaf all around in copper clay on copper clay cardstock. I cut the little tag from the um, Nest of Winter designer series paper and then embossed the sentiment on an early espresso card a circle. And there you go. Have a perfectly lovely day. Oh, and then I did do a little bit inside. All right, so that'll be Monday's card. Look for that on Monday. All right, you guys, if you want this as a make and take packet for free, just make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight. Please use the host code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the host code. Um, I'll still send you the projects, but Stampin' Up's gonna give you some rewards too if your order is over $150. Um, order anything you want, guys. There's some new kits. There's two new kits, and there's a kit sale. Gosh, I forgot to tell you guys all the announcements this week. I was so focused on that birthday stuff. Kit sale. All of our kits are on sale. Uh, make sure you go look at them. Even the new ones are on sale. Okay, so go check them out. Um, don't forget about the starter kit special. If you really want to spend over $99, think about the starter kit. This doesn't come with a starter kit purchase, but believe me, if you buy the starter kit, you're going to get a lot of stuff. Um, okay, that's it. You guys have a wonderful weekend. I will see you next week, I think, with the Changing Leaves bundle, I think. So stay tuned. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later.